Well, good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino, and we're going to look at a beer. Sorry, it sounds like my sink is on. This beer was sent to me by Chris, so thank you very much. It's not on, it just sounds like it. Okay. So this beer was sent to me by Chris, so thank you very much, Chris. Um, yeah, the rhinos started to work out again to try and get back in shape. I mean, round is a shape, but as hard as I worked in the Arctic, the Arctic made me soft again, and I got to get back to it. This isn't helping, but hey, it is what it is, right? This is from London, Ontario, from Forked River. Now, it's called Forked River because there is a Forked River in London, Ontario. Uh, Forked River Brewing Company's Chocolate Raspberry Stout. And this is 6.5% alcohol by volume. Now, water, malted barley, hops, yeast... Natural chocolate flavor, natural raspberry flavor. I know there are some chocolatiers in the London area. I know there's some raspberry farms in the London area. I know, even if there wasn't, there's a lot of choice to get raspberries and chocolate in a, a craft variety in Ontario. Well, fuck, in Canada, period. Anyway. <coughs> um, little disappointed. Little bit disappointed in the fact that this is a natural flavored beer. Really kind of disappointed in that. It's it's not something I'm going to lie about. It is it is what it is. It's, it's a disappointment before I even open it. Especially with the fact that craft beer is sold at a premium. And that there's so many craft beers out there that do things naturally. Now, I get it. It would be hard to nail down like a 6.5% alcohol beer without secondary fermentation and everything else that you would get from, from say, the, the chocolate and the raspberries and stuff. It would possibly also be hard to get the chocolate flavor to sit the way you want it to. Be hard to get the raspberry flavor the way you want it to. It may even be hard to get a raspberry stout to taste like a raspberry stout with natural raspberries instead of raspberry flavor. I, I've never personally brewed a raspberry stout. I've done a beer alchemy to create a raspberry stout, but I've never brewed one. So I could, I, I, I digress on the problems you could have with it. Hmm. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. That smells like raspberry candy. Um, first and foremost... How much did I spill? Not a lot. Okay. Um, we can deal with that, right? Right? I have something to deal with. Um, okay. Lots of big, robust head, but I mean... That head was coming out of the top of the glass fairly... Well, top of the glass, top of the can. Fairly well. Big tunnels being created in here. Looks very good. Now, if I go to smell it... Like I said, it smells... It smells like raspberry candies. Kind of smells like, um, kind of smells almost like a raspberry variant of like a cherry blossom. Um, you know, the, the cherry, the manchino cherries in the chocolate, uh, that type of thing. It kind of smells like a raspberry variant of that out of the can. And I mean, I think that's kind of what they're trying to go with. Like, look at that. They even kind of make it glisten like the cherry. 
Oh, out of the can, it's it's even more pronounced. It's like, I'm here, motherfucker, accept me. Cheers. What the fuck is going on up there? See, if you were looking to make a chocolate raspberry beer where the raspberries were the forefront of the entire beer and the chocolate just came in at the end, yeah, I guess natural flavors are the way to go because that raspberry overpowers the entire base beer. It overpowers the chocolate. It overpowers the roasted malts. It overpowers it all. The raspberry flavor is right up there, and it's it's raspberry candies. It's raspberry candies. It's raspberry candies. And then you get a little bit of chocolate notes, and then you get a little bit of roasty uh, malts. The raspberry flavor is still there. The chocolate has faded. You do get chocolate and raspberry together, but then the chocolate fades, and you're still with raspberry and roasted malts, and then it's all gone. And it's 6.5% alcohol. It does not does not taste like a 6.5% alcohol beer. It's good, but... What was... We didn't talk about the untapped ratings and stuff, eh? Two of my friends have had this. They've given it a 4 out of 5 overall. 348 people have tapped this in. They've given it a 3.75 out of 5. Viva Puffs, is there a better call? Okay, so they were going for Viva Puffs. Okay. I mean, you kind of need marshmallow for that, too, and sometimes a bit of graham cracker, depending on what Viva Puff you have. Rich chocolate, sweet marshmallow, and raspberry work on so many levels, but it doesn't say anything about there being any marshmallow in here. Or anything that would cause a vanilla-like flavor. And I, like... It does taste like a Viva Puff. I mean, I won't, especially now that I'm seeing it, but it doesn't have that, that telltale vanilla to it. That marshmallow flavor. Here's our take. A chocolate raspberry flavored sweet stout. 6.5% ABV. It's just enough to balance out the sweetness and decadent flavors. Pouring jet black with a dense mocha head. Okay, yeah, this one is sure to please. Dessert in a glass, absolutely. Uh, you're right, it is kind of dessert in a glass. Blair's done this one at 3.5. Stewart and Todd gave it a 4.5. And Stewart gave it nothing. Because Stewart is in the industry, so he doesn't tap that stuff in like that. Um... They're not wrong, it is Viva Puff-esque, but again, you could have done this naturally. But if you were looking for a Viva Puff, it would be a lot harder to get a Viva Puff flavor with a natural, with, with actual raspberries and actual chocolate. You could do it, but it would be a lot harder to get that flavor profile proper. I can't say there's anything wrong with it other than the fact that it does taste somewhat artificial. I mean, it does. At the same time, it's a solid beer. I like the look. I don't mind the taste. I'm not big on the smell. Even tastes good without the scent there. Um, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. I would buy it again, but I wouldn't go out of my way to get it. It's it's a solid beer. It really is. Thank you, Chris. It was great to try this. I'm just a little disappointed in it at the same time. But thank you. Bye-bye.